Well, it is really very interesting to listen to all what I just heard, because I tell you, my heart is singing. Maybe it is a COVID situation that helps certain questions to come to the surface. Um, well, in any case, I must tell you at the, at the very beginning, I have been for almost half a century fighting on the various fronts for systemic change to reposition the role of the arts in society, period. Do you hear me? Because I know as a performer already in 70s and in 80s, I know that we have to go beyond performance, before, beyond the concept. But at that time, it wasn't everything so new. I didn't know how to start. So I have created a festival in Chartres, in the famous cathedral in France, and then invited 2,000 people with me to the Eastern Europe. So audiences were traveling with artists to the crisis areas. As you know, it was the 80s when Gorbachev came to power and then gradually things started opening up. We did everything in Eastern Europe what was forbidden, but the music was sort of um, shielding us. We could, under the disguise of music, do things that were on the index. And then I learned that lesson in, in about 200 festivals, as far as Tibet and Amazonia and working with different cultures and so on. And then, do you hear me? Is it okay? Can you hear me well? Yes, and then after that, in 30 years ago, I realized that we cannot move this role of the arts if we don't go through the sphere of economy. So I started working with business, so with companies, and up to today, I worked with more than 200 global companies and smaller companies with leadership. And what did I do? I, I discovered that music can be used as a strategy if we know how to translate the process of music, of masterpiece. So I have developed a special method and I will immediately now share with you. Um, I hope it, I'm not going too fast because it is very difficult to tell you a big story in 20 minutes. But uh, uh, the, the basic thing is the method is that I do not perform. I first take the music apart. It is disrupted method. I play and stop and paint and, and comment and educate the listener's attention to exact evo evolution of masterpiece because it is meaningful, it is organic, it goes through transformation. And you know, in business, they are happy if they get ex excellent. That's their goal, to be excellent for us. Excellent is a starting point. Our goal is genius. You know, it's a totally different situation and they are stuck in the leadership. You know, they are, they have difficulties with their egos and all these things. And I show them through music, how you forget about the immediate environment and you enter this wonderful magic world of music and then discover potential solutions for your problems in the music. That means it leaves you free. You're not coming and telling you, you have a problem. You should change this and that. They'll say, no, who are you? You're a musician. You don't understand anything about this. No, I take them with me to music, to the masterpiece. By the way, I don't use, I don't use word music anymore. I always speak about masterpiece or entertainment because today when you say music, people immediately associate with pop and things like that. That's entertainment, it's necessary, but it's too much of it. So many young people are, will never know about Bruckner symphonies, about Beethoven, they will never know about this. What a tragedy because, uh, well, anyway, so let's go back. So how does that work? I, I work, for instance, with it right, I'll show you a beginning. How can we hear a beginning of Bach fugue? So what do we hear? We hear a subject, which is like identity, like a brand in a business. But how do we hear that exactly? Now listen, once again, that's the beginning, the first step. Ah, it, is, it is about vision, direction. That's where I want to go, right? Vision. Can you hear? But that's not enough. If you have vision, nobody buys it. You know, I know so much about entrepreneurship because 
entrepreneurs and artists, they come from the same source. They only develop in another direction. But now is the time that they come together. So the first thing is vision. What is necessary then after you have a vision? You have to involve, motivate, enlist everybody around you. So you have to get everybody on board. And then you reinforce the vision. So you get everybody involved and reinforce the vision. Is that enough? And then, Courage. Bah, 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 bah. You see, so I transpose out of the qualities in the classical masterpiece. I take out the changes and I use interdisciplinary way of explaining to a leader that you need vision, you need to mobilize, and you need then the courage that you actually get things done. And that is the three elements you need at the beginning of any project. But now look at this. Many people say today. I want to go back to normal, right? No, no, the digital people say, no, you go down to the new normal, digitalization. You know, everything is disrupted and so everything online. And I say, no, we go up beyond normal, above normal. Who wants to be normal? Normality is curse of humanity, period. So does that make sense? You see. I want to share, because it's short time, I want to share with you one entire masterpiece so you can get the feeling how I use uh, uh, this masterpieces in order to help to give direction to organization to develop, to evolve for human beings to, to get to their core, to, to find their highest potentials and so on. And especially lately, I have a, since three, four years, a major project called Europa Unfinished Masterpiece, a journey towards polyphonic European identity. Do you understand? And this project is going to go into political scene, not only business scene. First, you have to conquer economy as artists, and then you can change also politics. But art must become a central in society because society is composition. It's not some kind of concoction of numbers. It's composition, a place where individual can develop. An artist knows how to do that. So let me now take you on a little journey towards Europe, towards this kind of Europe that we artists have in mind. Is that okay? Now, I'm going to use a beautiful uh, Siciliana by Bach. You know, imagine you are now in the gondola. <laughs> a subject, how is it? That's only one side, it's like this. Can you hear? It is like longing, stretching for the highest, trying to get out of yourself, yeah? Is that clear? It's like a wave. It loses the momentum. It has an impulse, but then it falls down, yes? And then comes the answer from above, from very far away. Can you hear? Up there. Can you see? And there is a problem in between. There is a void. So how do we connect these two? How do we connect ego and I? You know, the highest and the most mundane. How do we connect the two? Well, what's missing is the middle. Now, look at this. This is Balkans, Southeast. This is Northwest, numbers, four. And this is Central Europe. And this is the composition Europe, when these things come together. I work with the Goethean um, morphology of plant. I will show you. It means polarity 
and intensification. You need to create polarities in life so that things get alive and then you intensify. Polarität und Steigerung in German. So let us now go on this journey to discover how Yeah, we will start here. So this is the nucleus. Now let us observe how this is going to evolve. Remind you, it can be male, female. It can be the beginning, the end. It can be, it can be many things because I work on archetypal level. So it can be translated to another domain. Human development, leadership, biography, organizational development, doesn't matter because it's archetypal. So let us start. What do we hear? On one hand, so it says, yeah, so it's pulling apart. It's like marriage after 10 years. Can you hear? One goes down, goes up. So you must. Yes. Better not. Can you hear? It's what I want to get across is that there, at the beginning, everybody's pulling in that direction, the two voices. And then comes. Yeah, for a moment comes the transition to the next level. So there is a gateway. How does it go on? I'm going quickly because I assume you are musicians or you know about music. So. So now we go on. started the same way, way and now we go in modulation if it doesn't work here let's try here what's new do you hear it says like this it's suddenly there is a direction. It goes in a particular direction. Focus, and it's not just pulling apart. It goes in direction three times. Bass ostinato. High point. growth, growth and growth high point, question, and then less and less and less and less and, and then another transition to the next level. You see, we go on. Is that clear? I start, you know, in business, they all talk about growth, 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 and growth can only go to a certain point. And then you stop growing when you are 18. When you still grow, you have problems, right? So, and then what starts development? Development is something they go inwardly, not outwardly. So high point of the growth. Now go in.
notice, complete change of this. Suddenly, the opposite. Here, there was no harmony. And now, they are both listening to each other. Suddenly, there is intense listening and intimacy, which is necessary for transformation. The same idea now. Next question. the one line stretching up and the other one answering from above. Now it switches. What was above is now below. What was below is now above. Transformation. Remember, below. Now it is the other below. So this is now a new situation. We have a lot of light. Conversation intimacy, refinement. Let's go on. of conversation, suddenly they become one. It's not above, above or below, it's one. They become one and they rise here. More and more and more and more and more and then bam, bam. Yes, they become one. Can you hear that? And so on. And at the end, nothing. What does that teach us? It says, when you come to the zenith of power, what do you do then? Then you have to relinquish, let go. And this is a problem in business. When they come to the top, they want to eat it, everything. But the point is, when you are at the top of the power, only way to get further, further is to let go. Because then something new happens. Remember how was Mahatma Gandhi? He was so powerful, but he was sitting in a little room doing his clothing and so on. And the whole nation was listening because he knew how to let go of power. This is the hardest thing to do in life. So you let go, what happens as a result? back to the beginning you come back to the origin but now on another level
Can you see yellow? Yeah, I call it grail. Grail. So here we are. Little, I, I, if you give me three minutes, I would like to play so you get the whole transition. But you see, these are stages of organizational development or implementing project. First, everybody is of different opinion. Then you find a way together and then you start listening to each other. And then together you create a power because you know how to unite. And then you let go the meat. So why do we have to let go? So that the old patterns do not obstruct what wants to emerge from the future. We have to work with emerging future because emerging future is very different from what we are used to up to now. I tell you, I'm working on European identity, which means composition of society, not something that is just numbers, as I told you, or on the economy, influencing politics. We need, we, we need to take completely new road if you want to have that kind of Europe, which is a genius, Europe of genius. Now, let me play once through so you can hear the totality and I'm done. Is that okay? Mm. 